Welcome back to the Low Budget LCS. We've got a slightly higher quality show for you tonight uh, with a little bit of effects. And I'm joined as always by one of my faithful co casters, Roselle. Roselle, how's it uh, going? Doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I have a new toy to play with, and we're going to see if the, the buttons do the things that I want them to, which I think mm -hmm. they do. I hope they do. Um, because we've already got some some pick band going on. Oh, yeah. So Yumi, Silas, uh, Wukong, Morgana gonna be bands come out here. Okay. So both teams having band support. Morgana, I totally actually both of these supports I totally get as bands. Yumi is incredibly annoying. Uh, and amplifies, you know, whenever you get that kind of, um, if you get a, if you have a hard carry, Yumi will just amplify it 100%. So mm -hmm. it can be very difficult. Which is terrifying. Yes. Absolutely. Lux going to be another ban. And then I'm trying to fix a couple. visuals for you all in the stream and yeah did you get the draft link by the way Just i there. did i'm okay. currently watching cool. i'm interested to see what obviously first picks are here Lissandra. so safe very very safe has a lot of a lot of engage not a lot of carry potential which is a role that a lot yeah. of times the mid lane takes on um so perhaps we're expecting it goes very very well uh What's that, little robot man? Oh, oh, the chance looks toes. Got it. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, but certainly provides Great a lot of that. setup if you want to have a uh, carry jungle or something like that. Mm -hmm. I like the Diana pick here. Are we going to see a bounce house comp? I would like to see something like a Yasuo here, but obviously Yasuo into Lissandra isn't the greatest. So, no, you know, you'll see. You'll see. Could balance out later on in the game. Excited mm -hmm. to see it. I think he gets worse for Yasuo later into the game. Soraka. I'm a fan. I don't know if you know. I'm quite the fan of Soraka. I think I think it's a great champ, actually. Now, in your expert opinion, is this mm -hmm. Soraka going support? Should is... be. I... I... I have a hmm, you'd buy to Soraka. I have, but think I think it's going she's top. Go. Maybe mid. I could see mid though. Into yeah, Lissandra like, as like a neutralized, like, oh if you're gonna pick yeah, Lissandra. Mm. You Lissandra can't do anything to you, you can't do anything to Lissandra, but I think blind picking Soraka um opens up. The top laners can generally pick stuff that can usually like blitz it super bad. Irelia, Camille Shy. Is that Shivana? I, I think that's. Um, uh, that could be Shivana. Oh. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. Gwendolyn. Gwen. Yes, Gwendolyn. Gwyneth Paltrow, actually. Oh, um, yeah. So, fun fact they did add Gwyneth Paltrow to League of Legends. Um, mm -hmm. Little known fact. Oh, speaking of adding to League of Legends, y'all see, see the new champ? Um, the new change? The new, the new oh, champ. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Belveth is... Hey there, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and say... Little Robot Man, thank you so much for being the latest reinvestor in the Low Budget LCS. We appreciate you here um, on this right. stream. And we want you to know that there's uh -huh. a Denny's in Vermont. It has your name on it. You want to go around back? You want to talk to our buddy Todd? He's got the pancakes. He'll hook you up. Thanks again. Did and, you uh, plan the fade out? I, I I programmed the fade out. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. awesome. It's a it's a you can hit the button and it plays it, and then you hit the button again and it fades out. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Okay, that's awesome. Yes. In the meantime, we have a set. So set into Gwen. I think set wins mm -hmm. early. Gwen wins wins late. Would be mm -hmm. my my expectations. 
with both support slots left up. Oh, well, so theoretically, I don't know why. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why it's both support. <laughs> but you got mid and with both solo lanes locked in for mm-hmm. um, the qualifiers, and then you have. Um, Which, by the way, we just both got that joke when we said it out loud. Very good name. Beautiful name. Nautilus, so it'll be a Nautilus ban from Holy Chance Lucas Toes in the chat. Um, ban 5 you, is... Also Thresh. Nautilus. So Thresh is also banned. Thresh oh. is the ban, not Nautilus. Nope. Okay. It's Nautilus. It is Nautilus. It's Nautilus. <laughs> it's all over the place. That happens. Uh... Uh, by the way, I, I do have a promise that I, I see someone from the low budget LCS is in fact watching. Uh, someone does need to record themselves saying La Chance Licks Toes so I can put it into my, my soundboard. Um, just. Yeah, ooh, Trundle. I really like Trundle into Shivana. Very, very good here. Good into Vi as well. She won't be able to burst you. Pretty decent into Lissandra, especially if Lissandra does go, like, you know, Aftershock a little more tanky. You can burst her down, make her less engageable. You do have to remember, Shyvana is Gwen. And I actually oh, like... Oh, Shyvana is Gwen. Yeah. And if Trunnel goes tanky, I think it could be a problem. But we're going to see Zareth pick I, as the I, support. In my personal experience, Trundle's really good into Gwen. Because Trundle is one of the best duelists in the game. And while Gwen doesn't rely on AD, so it does reduce the efficacy of Trundle's chomp, um, <laughs> I don't find myself losing that many fights to a Gwen. Now, it is still scary. It is still one of the champs that can duel you. But if you go something, like if you get a, um, a Wits, uh-huh. it's, uh, it's pretty good. I wonder what last pick is here. It's going to be the ABC pick. You're going to get constitu- Oh. Seraphine is just locked in, so I love that. That, that is, is quite fun. So we've got Set Diana and Trono looking to dive in and deal the damage. Seraphine and Soraka keeping them uh, safe from the back line, which I'm assuming it set mid, which might be able to expose Alessandra here and there, which should never be too bad. Um, on the other side, you've got this Jin, Zareth, Lissandra, Vi, Gwen. I'm thinking Jin and Zareth are essentially applying Pokemon and giving Vi and Lissandra just this avenue to go in. They're pro- they might play more towards 4-1. Mm. Mm-hmm. I and let that. Gwen do her thing. Because if she can get ahead, I don't think Trundle will be able to stop her if she's if she's just a borderline stronger, but I think Trundle can really be a huge help in these team fights against Lissandra and Anne, but... Yeah, I think how far ahead the Trundle gets... You know, on Trundle, if you're not ahead, stuff starts to feel bad. Uh, <laughs> because yeah. if you can't walk the, into the enemy team, you are not a champion. You um, really are. You are, as my top laner affectionately calls him, he is Pillar. He's not yeah. Trundle. No, not troll anymore as this is trundle top so you know perhaps someone diana. expected but um <laughs> diana gonna be in the jungle there so this will likely be uh the seraphine set i mean <laughs> seraphine set <laughs> my brain just really wants soraka to be top like oh so bad oh, yeah yeah, set mid. yeah that makes sense yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. and then seraphine soraka um, which is going to be an interesting bot lane. I hope it's very strong. Early, early grievous wounds from the side of. Oh yeah, like, if we if we don't society. see who who's the best applicator of it though, it might be Shivana actually. It's not Shivana, it's Gwen. <laughs> oh, it's Gwen. But I think it's it's gotta be <sighs> Zareth. <laughs> It's got to be Zareth or Lissandra. It's one of the AP, which genuinely kind of sucks because Morel and Omicron is that great of an item, and there are better Grievous Wounds items. Mm-hmm. But I would expect a Thornmail from Vibe because she's going to have to deal with Set and Trundle all game anyway. Right. So that, that, that 
Can we get a Thorn Mail and then I think one of the Sandra Zera will be getting a Merlin Amicon? Okay, okay. This, now, I, I want to see people putting their schmeckles in, okay? Also, I know I forgot to write an announcement about this. I got home not too long ago. <laughs> um, okay. I have magic. Um, <laughs> Come one hundred percent out of left field. Did not expect that. Spectator delay. Ooh, All right. Oh, um, you know what? You know what? It's gonna be time for. Mm -hmm. It's time for the MSI recap with Saint Roselle. Now, ooh, Roselle. I didn't watch the games. Oh, you didn't. Watch I remember the games. my prediction. But I remember my predictions. Do you want to know the? Re actually, should we talk about sure. the results? Hang on. Uh. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna pull chat and ask is our MSI results spoilers. Cause some people do like to watch it. Okay, okay, so we're gonna start that as a poll. So there's there's a poll and a prediction. I know it's a lot. There's a lot of high budget stuff happening this stream. Wait, I accidentally went back to game starting soon. This is this is what happens when you give me buttons. Yeah, I think you have too many buttons to press. I think I also have too many buttons. Buttons not working. Why is the button not working? Oh. Button. Wait, button is working. Okay, just this one button isn't working. Weird. Okay, interesting. If you remember my predictions, I fifty percent. If you don't remember my predictions, then oh well. It does look like there there are a couple of people who don't want us to talk about the MSI results. So I mm -hmm. do like to respect if people don't want to spoil yeah. this. So 110%. We, we won't do that. Also, there's only 220 schmeckles in the pool, and it's closing. What are y'all doing? I would um, inflate the bet on both sides, but I am incapable of doing I know. Well... So, uh, Oh, oh, there we go. Someone even did. Shout out, shout out to who evened it out just in time. Just in time. Best Yumi play. Beautiful. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Oh, all right. Well, now that we're about to get into it, I'm going to do... Tonight oh God. on the low budget right. LCS, a uh -huh. clash of titans. Tonight... The Koalifiers, which sounds a lot uh, like Qualifier, are yep. going to go up against Performance Anxiety. As uh -huh. their name suggests, they might be skittish on the live stage, but I think they just might be able to bring the heat. Get ready for an epic showdown. It's pretty good. That was really good. <laughs> I have... And there's... And, and what? There's Skinnergy on the side of um, Performance Anxiety. Lots they're of all prestiges like... coming out. Yeah, prestiges, but they're all of them have like kind of this like whitish white, except for, a, you know, Trundale. But mm -hmm. no, he's fine. He's exempt. Trundle's exempt from following most rules because he can't read. Well, How are you is supposed that, is to Is that canonical? Is that in the lore? Probably. He is troll. Alright, well, we do have Murder Face going to face check this bush here. So we've got a little Hopefully bit of five. Hopefully he doesn't get murdered in the face. You that know, I'm definitely gonna small. say Murder Face got yeah. murdered in his face. At, probably yes. at least ten times this game. Um... 
Yeah, so it's it's gonna be something. Are are we single by the way? Uh do you wanna do count? Are you on 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, one minute, one minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, this is the weirdest. 13, 14, 15, I am like, 15, 15, I'm one second ahead of you. 17, 18, so just pause it for a second. 20, 21, 22, 23. We're good. Well, ah, goodbye. I need to find some music that fits for the count. I need to find some, like, Transylvania. Surely there's music. Surely there, there's, like... Vampire music? There was, like, a theme that Sesame Street played oh, during the yeah, section. But Actually, I wonder, would Sesame Street... Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, okay. I thought that um, Charmant Plumage was going to do both the blue and the gromp at the same time, and I was kind of excited. Um, but... I want uh, your jungler opinion. What do you think about smiting first buff? Not... Great, um, especially uh -huh. on Diana. You don't really need to do it. I mean, it does give you tempo. Like uh -huh. Diana is going to be almost done with three camp. I mean, Vi has done two, and you know, I'm just not sure as we do have a little bit of level two dueling in the top lane. I, it, it's not optimal, but I also don't. I think Diana's clear is strong enough that the main detriment that's going to have to you is that at the end of your clear, as opposed to the beginning, you're going to be a little bit lower health because you're going to waste some of that healing efficiency off of Smite. However, Diana's clear uh. is so strong, I don't know if Charmant Plumage is actually going to um, suffer that fate. Charmant Plumage. Yeah, that's, I've made an executive decision that this is, this is how I'm going to be pronouncing it. Alright. It will not be able to match it, but Oh, good All right. Well, we've got, you know, safe bot lane chilling on down there. Ink Treader just vibing it up in the mid lane. Has forced quite a few of these corrupting pot charges um, out of Spellbound already. And now... Oh, no, we're not going to watch that fighting in the top lane. We're just going to watch Amber and Coden... How, okay, how are we pronouncing Soraka's name? Is her name Kotone Kodo? Kotone Kodo is something I can do. That's what Kotone Kodo is. I'm Kotone Kodo. Okay. It could also and, be Kotone Kodo. Uh, if we're, if we're being Kotone working. Kodo just feels wrong. Yeah, yeah. it feels like it's Kotone we have, Kodo. Yeah, yeah, we have the capability to say Kotone Kodo. So mm -hmm. I feel like I would be doing her justice, so that's my well. Yeah, alright. Amber, uh, uh, Amber or Amber? <laughs> that's, <laughs> I don't know. I'm that's better than today. that's better than me because I was just gonna go with AMBR. So AMBR, you know, ah, I see. AMBR. <laughs> the you technically you can't go wrong with AMBR because that's that's literally what it is. Well, but there's a there's an accent on the A, right? There's an umlaut. Yeah, but technically it's still that an is an umlaut, right? Uh, yes, it is an umlaut. I There's do not remember how game. to pronounce it umlaut today. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, nor do I. So, AMBR or Amber should work fine. I'm gonna play it safe with AMBR though. All right, we can do AMBR. As uh, so far, this game is pretty chill. Um, I would expect the first sort of action to happen around Vi. However, mm. there's not really great lanes to gank. I think you can maybe get on the Trundle with the help of the Gwen, but you run the risk of the Trundle just turning around and killing you. I think the set is mm -hmm. very difficult to gank because he's set and all he wants is you to come into his face. And then I think the bot lane is just playing incredibly safe, so I'm not exactly sure how you know these, these pushes are going to be made, but... I'm hoping mm -hmm. to see a little bit of action here. As Vi is going yeah. lethality, so opting for that early game, early power. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, Vi's job this game is to just try to kill Seraphine or Soraka, right? Mm -hmm. And you're just hoping, because that's the, the... Yes, healing reduction is good, but healing cannot happen if the healers are dead. The best CC is a gray screen. 
I've said mm -hmm. it once and I'll say it again. The best CC is a gray screen. So even if your team doesn't have any CC, if it does a lot of damage, then you should be fine. For sure. For but yeah, sure. I, I love it when economy games are mad slow because it completely flips the perception on its head. Oh, Trundale is six. Trundle is six. I would personally take advantage of that and just try to run the Gwen down, but Gwen yeah. doesn't actually have Ghost, has Ignite TP. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it took Imbus Cloak. We'll see. They did not, but because I think... they have Bone Plating, so they don't have Nimbus Cloak. Mm. You can essentially see Trundle's kind of positioning to get a decent pillar into W, into try and to attempt to run Gwyn down. Doesn't work, doesn't work. W not really gonna Yeah, be that is to way go. too close That's though. That's a pillar going in, but you're taking but a lot gonna go of out. Gwen damage. You have to try and dodge the core there. Needlework is making good work for the Trundle, but here comes Shamak Plumage from the back lane. The scissors aren't gonna hit and first blood. Very unfortunate. Claimed by Shamak <laughs> Gonna give up Plumage. the I need to find a good sound effect for that, because that is not it. <laughs> that was definitely out of left field, but I think um, it was unfortunate. I think when at some point it's like, okay, I think this shit should be... Oh, when good root, good stun, but AMBR, she's got the cleanse. It's good. Oh, Vi might be in trouble now. Ink Treader looking for the face breaker, but not quite going to be able to find it. Now, amazing timing. Whenever I see a gank happening, should I play the suspense music? Because I want to. <laughs> Let, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Well, we'll, we'll try times. one. We'll, we'll, we'll try one. We'll yeah. see what chat says. How about that? Perfect. All God, right. Zareth is such a character. I feel a certain way about Zareth. Are like you not a fan of Zareth, or are you a fan of Zareth? I am not a fan of playing against Sarah. That is how I put it. I think he can actually be so good if picked into a comp. And then it's a fine comp to pick Sarah then to force the healers to heal more often than they might be comfortable with, right? When you can throw maybe, out maybe insane poke. Yeah, Sarah the, or hit the healers. Yeah, he. I mean, I think a you know a fed Zareth can Zareth ulti one of these two enchanters down pretty effectively. Mm hmm Agree. 110%. So that's why I think it would be very interesting to see if the Zareth does get ahead and keeps getting gold. Because obviously mages will always have um, expensive builds mm -hmm. comparatively to every other support. So Soraka is going to... Once Soraka hits her two items, she's going to be doing... Oh, God, we amount to We've seen... We saw yesterday what... Um... Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what a two item Soraka can do. Uh, especially if people two don't build grievous wounds on time. Mm -hmm. That being said, when Azareth hits two items, especially since we are the dur durability patch is going to come during playoff, but it's not here yet. So yeah. What a big wave. That's so nice to get a wave crashing like that. And I, but I do love Diana being here because of Gwyn Force tried to force that wave. Trundle can't. It'll be a struggle for Trundle to come down here, but it doesn't seem like Vi's interested in taking the two v two. Now, one Slow thing I game. didn't actually consider is I only play jungle, right? I, uh, I like to describe myself as a diamond jungler, even though I've only hit D four once and it wasn't preseason. But you know, uh, ego um, counts. Mm -hmm. Counts. Well, it counts for a whole bunch of else. Yes, so it counts. Um, yep, and. Uh, so I only ever play Trundle in the jungle, and I'm realizing whenever I've interacted with Gwen, I usually have a kill lead over her, and also I already have my Sunderer, and uh, seeing that earlier trait made me think, okay, Trundle does not always win into Gwen. It, it, it's definitely a, a little rough for the troll here, but... You have a top support jungle player who has played Trundle in all of those positions. <laughs> but yeah, this... To be fair, that, that interaction right there. In a little bit of trouble. There goes the buy ultimate, but ultimate back to the turret. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, we have an ultimate. Char manages to land. AMPR, she manages to find a beautiful stun, and Charmant Plumage gets out. 
die? Didn't die? Oh, good stun. Ultimate coming out there onto Ink Shredder. Spellbound. Now Mike gonna be in trouble. Ace Breaker is managed to hit. Mike comes in and they manage to clean up the kill. Wow. Oh, flash forward, shoot, chop, trouble, managed to find one. All of a sudden, a very slow game has turned into an absolute explosive as fights break out across the map. Okay, when these things happen, I've noticed mm -hmm. it, this is the second time I've seen this happen in a game where it's just like nothing, 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 nothing. Every lane fights. Every single lane fights at the same time. Is this mm -hmm. coordinated? Is this intentional? Or is it just like, oh, I'm fighting. Oh, me too. Like, the, the jungler's not here. The jungler's there. We're going to fight. <laughs> I think I genuinely think it's something along those lines. Like, okay, that's where the enemy jungler is, so we can go over here and fight here. And that I've had that thought in some of my games before. So could or Trundle does work on turrets? Yeah, that's a that's going to be a 1.2k gold diff in the top lane now. Trundle having gotten that kill and getting four of those turret splits, you cannot leave a Trundle alone with a turret. If Trundle goes Hullbreaker, I'm. I would be genuinely scared. Yeah, Hullbreaker Trundle's hilarious. Um, basic, as long as he's not down, like if a fed Trundle goes Hullbreaker, genuinely he is a threat to the Nexus. He could be a threat to your base at like 20 minutes. Um, I mean, I know Trundle does good work on turrets because one of my signature plays is I get Herald, I, and then the next time I have a successful gank, I just take the whole turret. But sheesh, mm -hmm. he didn't even have Herald. Oh yeah. He did. It's beautiful. It's, it really is beautiful what Chandler can do to a turret sometimes. I don't... Have you ever seen... There was a game... Oh, uh, God. Maybe 2018? Going on. What is that? Oh, they don't know. There goes the ultimate. It's beautiful. It's, the stun managed to land. Moonfall is good. And murder faces so get good. murdered in their face as Charmant Pumange lands Did the it. moon Q, goes forward, taking the damage passive. It is just quite enough. Meanwhile, in the back line, Ink Treader manages to find the face breaker, but the haymaker doesn't land. But AMBR wow. is able to secure it. Great. <laughs> I think that it time was a the battle of patience. Was a little too much. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. It was... He's learning, it's okay, the adaptation. Okay, that's the curtain call. Will it be able to steal it? I think Does I Does AoE it. damage, by the way. Yeah. But they're gonna block it. Smart speech. It seems like it's fine. Although, I'm sure mm. the direct camera... Yep, Mega Man with Dragon. Meanwhile, here comes the new work. Core damage is gonna find, but now it looks okay. like Pax Will get... Phil is able to do the damage. Jazz is gonna go extremely low underneath the turret and get chomped up. And that is, that should be chomp turret. <laughs> I, need, I need a chomp sound. I need to find a chomp sound. This is good. I need to take note of all the things I want so that I can add them. And then next time I cast, y'all get the full experience. Of course. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, the Seraphine being fed. Oh, and they're both going support items. This is going to be nightmarish for the other comp because they're behind now. And that is the, the last thing you want to do as a team that is behind is go against an, a, a one strong enchanter. And don't know, even get me started on two strong enchanters. Performance anxiety? They don't seem to be that anxious. Uh, yeah, they seem to be kind little. of taking names a little bit. Uh-huh. Just a little Definitely bit. interesting. Oh, and it's the tank Diana build so she can be fueled oh. by her. I don't know if I like that, actually. Well, maybe I do. But you've got There's double There's not going to be much tanky stats, right? Is So so is the tank Diana build, I haven't seen this, is it go you Sunfire and then you go Demonic? I think Sunfire, Demonic, and to like either full tank items or just AP items. That sounds fun. Maybe it does sound very fun. I've oh. seen people play it, it Shredder, seems okay. fun. Q is gonna land spellbound, looking here. Here comes the Zerid Snipe artillery doing damage. Haymaker's gonna help you, but you can't get out. A lot of CC, well layered, well played, mm -hmm. and some good snipe support from Murderface. Yeah, I mean, Murderface has the last chapter, does not have the Ludens, I assume, is coming up. And it seems like Sassandra's going like AP, AP, not like Everfrost, and kind of focuses on being tanky. We're seeing a Ludens come out first thing. So, and I like Lissandra into this comp because, yeah, Diana's cool, but if she goes in and immediately gets stunned for a couple of seconds, it will be very hard to play the game the way like um, that they want from to. The qualifiers. Just gonna snag that one up. Oh, they're gonna choose to engage on Shamar Plumage. 
If yeah, you don't have very dead. Right to escape this, Blast Cone might be enough, but just not gonna be able to get it. And Gwendolyn's I gonna pick that. Sorry, think... Gwyneth Paltrow's gonna pick that one up. Yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow's gonna take it. I think... Don't quote me on that. I think Diana autoed Vi instead of the Blast Cone. There. It's possible. Which, um... Sealed their fate, unfortunately. Yeah. I'd like to see the qualifiers punch him back here, though. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's clear they're like, okay, we're a little bit down, but they're not down too far in gold, and now they are going to send with their tail. Pax Lil Phil looking to take it out before it does too much damage, because that turret is going to go critically low. Yeah. Oh, it might fall. It's very, very low. And, uh. This, could, this top lane is going to be where first turret falls, one way or the mm -hmm. other. Gwena has to be back unless they want to give up um, first turret or Jazz. Or Does have the Unleashed back. Teleport. Could choose to commit it here if Trundle gets... Currently walking. Currently walking. Brazen. Seems yeah. like he'll get there, actually. Trundle is just nice. on the wave, so... Yeah, no. Uh, maybe they maybe they know better than me because I definitely would have just shoved it and ran at the turret full speed. My favorite thing to do is um, cast from just the mini map. Okay, keep going in. Trundle wants to look for this one. He's gonna find a bit of damage, and uh, with Paltrow, I'm not gonna be able to uh, uh, return that much. Stand up to that, yeah. Yeah. Nasher's rush does look kind of nice. And uh, Gwen will definitely need some tank busting, but down goes that time. There's just uh, a ton of gold concentrated on this Trundle. 2,000 mm -hmm. is the gold lead for just Trundle, which is mm -hmm. quite a bit. Yep. Now, and one thing about Trundle into the composition, he can get peeled off really easily, especially between Jin Root, all of the Sanja CC, Vi Ult, and kited, so I'm interested to see how Will Trump will be dedicating himself to just running, or will Pax will kind of focus on oh, it's coming down fire. to kite so it's not, it's not Sunfire, it's Ooh. Frostfire. Okay, I like it. I can dig it. You, you do things with Yeah, autos. like I can definitely dig it. Yeah. yeah, I was just like, there's a lot of value in Diana autos. That's why they go Astros a little bit. We do have a little bit of a skirmish happening here. Mm -hmm. Charmant Fumage just being the bulwark here. For this is a 5v5. This is a 5v5. 100%. Cool. I do not know if they beat Trumbull. Um, Especially at this state of the game. Yeah, now both top laners do have that Unleashed Teleport. So I think whoever wins this fight is going to get a turret top. I think <laughs> uh, if, if they manage to kill Gwen this fight... Uh, I think Trundle can, can TP top and probably take that whole inner unless the rest of the, the qualifiers run to stop him. But hang on, we've got it opening up. Gwen going into the pit, ult out, lots of things happening. AMPR taking a lot of damage by ulting in on her, and she is going to get shut down. Jazz now going in, but gets absolutely pummeled. This Trundle is putting in the work. That is your gold value. Meanwhile, Murder Face is now facing his murder as Ink Treader is looking for it. Going forward, will get slowed. Pax Lil Phil coming in. Pillar maybe not quite available. Escape root negated. Flash over the wall from K K Katone Kono. And that dragon is in the pockets. The K is in a weird position. The Jin has been farming and getting gold. That fight is extremely unfortunate, though, because. Huge engage, engage from Lissandra, got Seraphine super early and forced out the Soraka ult. Mm -hmm. But. And Vi did do their job. They got on to Potonic. Uh, they got on to AMBR and, and mm -hmm. they, they murdered her before before she could. Uh... Well, I mean, I guess she did get ult off. Did she? She did not. She did or maybe not. she did. I don't remember. Maybe, maybe it's low enough CD. I'm not sure. Someone, someone mm -hmm. tell me. Please. <laughs> but there's that I think um but um once the Sandra was once Spellbound was in the mix Lilfeld just started going to work I think picked up three kills in that fight yeah it was... and that's like yeah 
It was a lot of damage. It was a lot of big troll damage coming out here. I mean, Massive see it in troll. that shutdown. It's it's almost a four thousand gold lead for this troll, and that's yeah. basically their gold lead. Their gold lead is basically trouble, which is surprising, given that they yeah. have. You know, it looks like on paper other leads around the map certainly, you know, 500-ish gold is maybe not what you would expect in, in the ADC to Seraphine differential, but, um, you know, certainly a little bit more farm here on this gym. Same goes for the mid lane as well. Oh, Jazz, you don't want this. These Trundle autos do so much damage. And now Charm off Lumage. Going to be facing Moonshot. Sure, yeah. Charm up on two. But the Unstoppable is there. They managed to find AMVR. Can Charm off Lumage clean up? They find one. Can they find two? They get rooted, but it won't be enough. Take Diana doing the damage. <laughs> that almost was very nice. I think Lissandra stuck around. Hang on. We've been pronouncing... Katone Goto. Uh, incorrectly. Oh, we oh. now must pronounce Katone, K Katone Koto with a southern draw. Tone Koto? Katone, or... Katone Koto? Is southern draw <laughs> like this? Yeah, Is southern draw. Koto? So, southern draw. So That's a hard Tone name to Koto. say, a southern draw. Tone Koto. Tone Koto. Tone Koto. Hacks a little fella, go, looking for I'm their go fill the again. Corner. Gonna be able to find the pillar. Jazz oh. gonna look to do the damage, but it just won't be enough. I feel like this is yeah. how top lane goes a lot of the time. One laner is like, oh, I can win the duel forever now. And just... Does that. Does that exactly. Mm -hmm. It is... Played... Uh, I think a season of top and LDS is a lot of games. Like with this part, just got uh, shit stomped because I'm not very good at the wall. But um, yeah, top lane is one of those roles where one thing can go wrong. If you give up a, so it can be a solo kill, and it, like very small things. I think the overextension early on when they both had that level six definitely um, did go in and did a uh, jazz and lose. Really, un it was really unfortunate, but sometimes you have to know when to cut your losses. Like, okay, we didn't get the kill. That's how it is. So, Trondo is going to make this game very, very difficult to play. Time being, for sure. Yeah. And um, looks like I mean they probably can kill him, right? They can probably kill the Trondo in the top lane, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will be a tall order, especially since if you send... I mean, I guess no one really has tank stats other than Merc Treads, so there aren't too many resistances for them to steal. But, um... Still, they're, they're, they're gonna ult someone. <laughs> yeah. well, from what it looks like, I think Eclipse is coming out here for Fi. Um... Luden should be... Most done for Zara, and I think that'll be a big spike for the character. Um, on the flip side, Seraphim already has two items, <laughs> so one of the supports has reached their break point. And I oh, teleport was committed, but he does get stunned right there. He's gonna go in committed on the Jazz, but it is not enough. They bring the forces and they get the money. That is huge. Murder face flashed for I what I assumed was the kill there, but unfortunately, or they get vision in the bush. But I think they had that. They are gonna trade Drake for, but that's a big shutdown onto one of your stronger members in the Lissandra. Now I want to see the Jin of the I Lissandra has here. death cap in base. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. So and objective gold. Yes. Objective goal game conduct. Being one drag off of Hex Tech Soul is scary. No ifs, ands, or buts. Um, but I, I, I certainly think the, the pick potential of the qualifiers was shown there. And so I think we have to respect that, you know, that is a possibility. Even the strongest member of your team can get picked out. Although, I don't know if they could have done that to. Uh, our main gal in the jungle, Charmant Plumage. Um, yeah, Charmant Plumage is a tree. 
Kaki. And is either building a GA or a death stance. Uh That's interesting. So <laughs> That's so sick. Oh, they're bullying the set. Huh. Like, you would think like <laughs> Nashers or something, no? I mean the job here is to be pink. And Death Dance, I have heard men plenty of complaints from my jungler and other people who play mostly AD champions. How stupid Death Dance is. So I mean it does the job. By the way, we see our first piece of um anti heal come out from the side of the qualifiers and that that's an way Oblivion too orb late. on Gwyn. Yeah, that's way too late. Way Luckily, I unless my build pass are wrong. I think oh, Trundle's not going to be in trouble. Ravenous. One Q is going to do a third of your health. Ooh. Okay, that's a good flash though. Great flash from Spellbound. But um, I, they 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 didn't flash. They used E. Oh, for that ability, flabbergast me sometimes. What's the they name don't of know. That ability? It's called Glacial Path. Good. That's a good ability name. That is a good I like that. Name. I agree. But yeah, um, with what I assume is a Titanic Hydra coming out, um, Gwyn probably couldn't afford to get an Oblivion Orb before. But I do want someone other than Gwyn to build it. Um, I know it would definitely hurt for Zareth to buy it second item. I don't mm -hmm. think that's at all. Yeah, I don't think that's at all what uh, they'll want to do. Okay. But Murphase might have to be uh, the one who gets... Because it seems like the best distributor. I do like the LDR coming out of Jin, though. Yeah. LDR is good, so you will be squishy. Even, even I think, AMBR and uh, Godone Godo are going to um, have more help than you for a little bit here. Uh-huh. I'm not sure about that statement, but... Because, because... Uh, oh, we'll it, see how it goes. Moonstone has health in it, right? Uh... Yes. Yeah. And 80 items don't really have health in them, right? Mm -hmm. TB coming out from what I, who I assume is Jazz, yep. Yeah. Um, will be bought for the Drake now, as well, unless we they decide to move up. By the name they've chosen, uh, G4ZZ377? Hmm. I'm gonna go jazz. Or, or how, wait, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me workshop this. Oh god. How about okay, okay, okay. J4 Zzz 377? No. Um. Okay. How about just J4? That's not confusing. Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> definitely oh, not. You looking over the wall? Katone Goto. Not quite gonna be found out, but here comes the ultimate. Good dodge. And we are gonna be in trouble. She's gonna get assassinated by Bull DK. Now Charmant Plumage in the middle of everybody, but they are actually going to get shut down as the damage goes through. Tons of damage now coming out from the Gwen. Perhaps it is online. But meanwhile, all this oh, time, my spellbound is, is going on the top turrets. They're we gonna got be on two backs turret. coming out, and I assume Vi is gonna look for the for the Drake solo, um, which would be the best. ICS Wolf um, should just look to solo the Drake while the rest of the team looks to stop Trundle, which they're gonna be able to do by just dissuading him. The problem is, if Set goes to stop this Drake, he stop Ink that Treader. Drake. Ink Treader versus Wolf. The Drake is okay. stopped. Hex Hexec gates though. Hexec gates though. They definitely have a way back into the pit, so I don't think you want to do this if you're set. But you certainly good. have vision on it. I see how it's going to go over there. Yep. Oh, they're going to look for it. Going. They go in the middle. Face Breaker manages to land on the one. True damage core does manage to hit. They're going to get out with a bit of HP. The bounty is claimed. Ultimate goes wide from AMBR. Ink Treader smells blood in the water. Ooh. Oh my goodness, these heals. You saw them last night, man. Yeah, the champ it's, is a little, it's, it's a little gross. kooky, I think. And Pax, little Phil didn't even leave, yeah, so they'll just, still have to give up an end hit for the move. But personal opinion, if you can keep this Trundle off of the, it's going to be very hard for Trundle to push into the next turn successfully. So he's kind of opened up an avenue 
through the gold and the experience for Gwyn, who was already doing a, a decent amount of damage to get back into this game. Also, Oblivion Orb from Serat. That is a beautiful guy. And it's a hole breaker. Makes sense. Trundle. Yep. How they've been playing the game. Putting the Trundle mm -hmm. in that side lane, just letting them go at it. I, I expect that they would release them on bot lane next. Which it does look mm -hmm. like is the lane assignment. Yep. And that is good. Um, also, it is a death stance on the day, and I love this buy so much. <laughs> what is this build? <laughs> what, what is this build? It's so good. Doesn't it's death so dance? So good. Doesn't death stance have anti synergy with tank items? Um. Because is it the health no. that you take over whatever seconds dealt is true damage? Or am I just it, completely wrong and that's how it used to work and that's not how it works anymore? 30%... No, all 30% of damage taken is dealt to you over 3 seconds. But I believe the way it works is so you take the damage, but the damage you take is still affected by your tank stat. Hmm. Right? So, I, I whereas... I so, whereas with, like... ADCs and like, well, I guess how it used to be ADCs, like ADCs and bruisers, where you're making it so that you don't get burst. Diana's just using it so that it takes way longer to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Which, uh, it's... as one of their primary methods of engage, does make sense. Very interesting. Oh. Build. ICS Wolf is on the side. Maybe you're looking for something or just hoping that the Xerathoth paired with a potential Vive Flink gets them off. Pax is level 18. Just Three levels game. higher than everyone else in the game, and they couldn't stop the back, so now they're all bot while they're pushing mid. This trundle is causing headaches. Abusing the Baron Empowered Recall there. You'll love mm. to see it. Oh, a little bit of aggression there. Here comes the curtain call. Spellbound, going to perhaps look for an engage, but here comes the ultimate, perhaps the sway. Meanwhile, go in the back line. There comes Moonfall, looking to do the damage. Core is absolutely beautiful from the Haymaker. Meanwhile, in the back line, LCS Wolf has managed to find one of the sports and Ink Treader, but it's not quite going to be enough as now Pax Lil Phil has made their way into the fight, and they are a uh, That was. One Q worth half of Zerus HP, and they're not even done. Lil Phil's just gonna be looking. Wait, I don't know why sorry. they're leaving. Tramont Plumage was tanking the turret there. It didn't do yep. any damage. Zero damage. So good. That, that's fine. Now this might be triple in him. Perhaps it is soul for the performance anxieties. Mm -hmm. Could I thought they could just walk through mid in the game here, honestly. But I guess they wanted to. They're going more methodical with it. They've got triple inhib. Um, they can go back, look for soul. If they take a fight there and win it, then they can probably end the game easily. I think they also had a bit of gold in their pockets. Um, Diana did. Crumble has, you know, 1700. Um, mm -hmm. Just sitting there not doing anything right now, although. Their item bar is certainly quite full, so I don't know if they need to spend it. Oh yeah, that. And this Trundle is a tyrant. Really is king of the trolls. I don't even know if there's gonna... It would... I don't expect a Trundle ban at that. <laughs> because I feel like this... If that first kill doesn't happen, For sure. and obviously a few solo kills don't go that way, then we're definitely seeing something completely different go down right now. But just Trundle being allowed to just ramp out of control definitely has been a defining point in this game. That's for certain. Now this drag spawning in the next eight seconds. And Pax Lil Phil able to apply this pressure does also have the unleashed teleport. So if the team needs them, they can show up. But, uh... Yep. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Is Dragon's going to get pulled, and Tremont, Kumage, and company are going to be able to take it. Oh, there it's looking. Not going to be able to find it. As the last in hit might be in trouble, but Pax Lilfil smells the collapse. Hmm. But now you've got the rest 
Oh, from a team guy okay. going down. LCS there. Wolf choosing to go in here. The Pax Lothil does too much damage. Heal is used, but it is not enough. Jin not quite able to get there with that LDR damage. Just mm. not enough. Oh, Alt Ink Treader into the Nexus. Not going to do too much. Now Jazz looking for the damage. Gwen is immune doing it. Putting in quite a bit of damage, has scaled a little bit, and MDR, and go to Kodo. Both going critically low in the back end to Spellbound, but they're both going to be okay. Now the Nexus is going to be exposed, and this is going to be game one for mm -hmm. performance anxiety. Oh, really? Honestly, a great game from Lissandra. I think Jin played well as well, but when Trundle is that... No, keep going. It's really hard for those two characters. Because uh, the later the game went on, just front line to from the opposing that yeah, yeah, stop it wasn't enough to stop the opposing front line from going absolutely bonkers. I might have. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry, gotcha. a lot of stuff happening. I was I was trying to I, I was playing some music at the end of the game, but then I forgot that there's that like that bug when you get out of a game where like your audio dies. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, I need to do the prediction. Mm -hmm. Anxiety gonna come out on top there. So it looks like they are going to do same sides. Yeah, it looks like it's the same sides here. Which mm -hmm. makes my job easier. Score! Woo! That was us high five. Let's go! Yo, I need a high five sound effect. Yes. That would be dope. We are just going to reload pro comps here. And we are into it. Oh, shoot. Yumi still going to be the first hand here from the qualifiers. Don't want to have to deal with that. Um, can you actually vamp and talk about this draft for a moment while I go get uh, water? <laughs> yeah. 100%. So, we've got Yumi Ban. Wukong Ban seems like it's also going to come out from performance. Anxiety. I'm not sure what bans you want to take from last game. Um, they might ban Trundle just because of how much problem it was. Maybe they banned Diana because of the build that they seem to be going. Paired with those double enchanters seems pretty nasty. But they're still going to keep the bans the same. This time... They held the MF ban until phase two last time, so I'm interested to see what they'll ban um, phase one instead. Um, Silas or Mordekaiser. Nope, it'll be the Trundle leaving, so they'll leave both the Silas and the Mordekaiser up, which I'm kind of interested in. Um, as for Pormic Anxiety, they seems like they're just repeating their game one bans. Kong, Morgana Lux, of course, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They had a great trap last game, and um, it seems like it's going quite well. So far, draft doesn't seem to have any huge fork in the roads. Yep, looking about the same. And when mm -hmm. you see this, perhaps you think, oh, you know, get the trundle out of here and then we win. Um, May have. Certainly was quite an issue. Tiver, first pick. There's, I mean, Tiver is a safe ADC. Obviously, she has her counters, but... Uh, um, We'll be seeing. Oh, I'm looking at it right now. We'll, do, we'll see Bull kind of try to transition what was a solid gym performance, just not super impactful. Hopefully, onto something like a Sivir, who I think can at times be less impactful than Jim. But it also depends on build. Are we going to see a tech speed or are we going to see a validity as the cane is picked for performance anxiety? Mm hmm. 
That's uh, a. Oh, now, do you expect this to be tank duelist cane, or do you expect it to be more of a traditional um, cane build, perhaps? Oh. Like, do, do you think uh, dual cane is a possibility? Depends on enemy comp. They did play something that was really squishy last game. So if they pick something super squishy again, I could see it happening, because the only real tank was Fi, who's more of a bruiser. Um, meanwhile, Seraphine's going to be early picker, and they'll pick the Lissandra again. I, if Spellbound's comfortable on it, which they seem to be, um, I would not mind picking the Lissandra multiple times. Handled the set really well in lane. Just when it came to transitioning that lead, it doesn't happen. And fresh to protect... Um, Sivir from Cain. Sivir Thrash team is really, really hard to, to go in on as a Cain. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, lots of there lots of shielding, lots of get out of jail free cards here for this team. I mean, Sivir uh -huh. has the spell shield and will also have the Thresh Lantern at their disposal, so. Uh huh. And Mordekaiser blind, but they will be able to protect it with two bands. I'm kind of interested. All right, I out. have Jungle okay. Mordekaiser came top. Completely possible. Um, doubt it though. Fiora's gonna be first band. Soraka band. Love it here. You don't know if the Seraphine's going support mid or ADC. So pick the position you want it to go to. Theoretically, is what you ban for, so you can take things away and try to push it towards that. Hail into Mordekaiser. I wouldn't pick that anyway. I'm interested to see what the qualifiers um kind of draft prowess is like because I think there are some pretty interesting counterpicks to Mordekaiser. My personal favorite as of forever, basically, has been Olaf. I love Olaf and Mordekaiser. You mm, you get You just get to beat on them, right? You just get to beat yeah, on you get to beat him, in the Death Realm. And then as soon as Mordekaiser tries to ult you, you can ult out and not get sent there. Um, Karma. I love a Karma ban here. Essentially, Karma can. You want to stop that man from going too fast. Too much. To, what are they going to blind here? Renata Glass. Ooh. Interesting. Wait. I don't see that on my end. Uh, reload your page. Oh, I think it might be maybe pro comp is having a little bit of oh that as well. I can just put it in manually because uh, yeah, if you want to know something about our sponsor, ProComps.gg, ProComps is the best League of Legends drafting tool. Um, you can use exclamation point ProComps Charles, to see yeah. more about it in chat, and um, you know it gives you all of these lovely informatics. You can custom configure it for your team so it can give you personalized champion suggestions for what you need to pigeonhole into any particular draft. It'll help you win your clash games, your LBLCS matches. Oh wait, I should have been doing ProComps.gg. It's gonna help you win all of your games. I think I do like this qualifiers comp because it's very front to back. Um, you've got the front line, your front quote unquote front line tanks, you've got Cho'Gath. Um, Cho'Gath, Thresh, and Zin Shao, as well as Lissandra, all want to be on the front line. Swain? So... There's not a lot of burst other than Lissandra. And I guess if Zipper goes. Lethality? Um, yeah, Lethality. That being said, I'm not sure how much I like Lethality. Out of here, you've got a lot of bulky people who might be able to tank multiple cues. Um, if Kane goes Rost, if Mordekaiser go builds tank here, and if Swain goes up on it, Swain always ends up being a bit tanky. Your targets will mainly be Seraphine and Glass, but maybe that's what you want to focus on. That being said, um, yeah, this both of these comps are going to want a team fight. Maybe we'll see more one through one with Mordecai and Swain, but Swain will definitely want to be in the team fights. So I'm interested in how they'll do it because the disengage and kind of kite and stall potential from the qualifiers is really. Um, 
So I'm kind of interested in how they're trying to handle that. Yeah, it will be interesting. Sorry, I'm trying to think of fun names for the prediction. I've got quality players because it's it's like quality okay. player, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I just have I I just have anxious written down. That's all I have. I'll just write I'm anxious. Um, don't blame me. That's not confusing, right? Should work fine. Yeah. Oh, Great. someone did it. They just put it as game two PA versus two. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh! Yes. Oh! Okay. Yes. I see now. I forgot that the title, there's the title. <laughs> there's the title, and then there's... Yes. Holy 5K! 5K! Instantly going out of performance anxiety. Someone smells a favorite. That's XL Macro with the 5K schmeckles. Now... I will now be betting one schmackle against uh, 5k macro in an attempt to take <laughs> against macro in an attempt to take all of his money. All of their money. Uh, people are second. hyping up the Lil Phil Morden chat. Perhaps this is a pick that has been seen. Um, mm -hmm. Perhaps this is a known entity. C and D's in their group, so I assume they do know of the Mordekaiser. And I will double check. Pushatina? Pushavata? Who? Uh, that is the other person who hyped up. Pushavatin. Oh, push. Sorry. Pushativan. Pushativan. Yeah. Or Pushativan. Well, oh, that one. Please. That one sucks. That <laughs> oh lord. Uh, uh, but yeah, the Pax. Okay, I'm looking back at some of their matches. Pax Littlefield is actually just an absolute insane player. From what I'm just the games I'm seeing. Oh, like top gap. But um, yeah, I would not be surprised if. But this player is also just like a mad Steam Order Kaiser player. I would not be surprised if he was alive. All right. Well, we've got a match for you. Now, Roselle, I'm going to mm. play the music here in a second. And uh -huh. I, want, I want you to do your best pre-game hype monologue, okay? Okay. Clarification. Yeah. I'm not very good at hyping things up. No, no, no. I will, however, um, be honest and give my thoughts on what type of game this will be. All right. You ready? Yep. So these are two teams. This is actually a pretty important playoff match in the qualifiers. Uh, I have to play one game, but this could easily be set for the rest, especially for performance anxiety, who are one in one and would love a win here because it basically puts them in a really, really, really good position going forward. Two and one basically should guarantee you top two, and a win here gets them that. While the qualifiers would have to fight from one and one, and I believe that would be their last game versus C and E, which could be huge. That's all I got. I've got nothing. That's that's good for me. Perfect. Woo. Thank you. You love to see it. Very fun. Very entertaining. <laughs> uh, thank you for indulging me. As we oh someone Absolutely. someone put in eight hundred schmeckles to uh to oh, counteract oh, your a, your shit schmeckle bet. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm also going to ask you to solo cast so I can get something to check. Nice. So I'll be right back. All right. Here's my hot take. I don't think Zinja is that good right now. I think Kane just kind of gets form and does more healing and damage, which is basically what Zinja wants to do. Um, the main thing that Zinja is going to offer is their ultimate, um, which perhaps will help, but I think that all of the damage dealers other than Seraphine on the side of. Um, 
performance anxiety are just going to be inside the Crescent Guard anyway or want to be inside of it. So I don't think that that's going to provide too much value here. Um, Mordekaiser, I think, likely will be able to kill the Cho'Gath, although you always have to watch out for that burst damage on the Feast. Um, Spellbound was quite good on the Lissandra last game, and Bull DK was very good on ADC, getting that farm. Sivir, a champion who loves that, you know, classic 400 CS meme. So perhaps we're going to see that coming out here um, as sort of a win condition, as you don't have a traditional AD carry. The attack damage is all going to be on Kane here. So perhaps we see a bunch of MR coming out from the side of the qualifiers you know certainly there are items that all of them can use quite well um a lot of them will like spirit visage and zhao and cho'gath will both like it a fair amount you can also build the force of nature um there, there, so there's some decent itemization options um and yeah so it, it'll be interesting to see what people decide to build this time i would like to see anti-heal coming out earlier especially against a cane swain seraphane um i know i butchered that name a little bit i'm just gonna do it it's fine all right we're going in game wait that's the wrong button hang on hang on i think i got it okay but i'm okay i'm halfway across the room oh this is perfect timing okay it's perfect oh no, buttons are on the wrong side. Alright. I'm back. Are you secretly British? Oh no, I forgot to put my American accent back on. Apologies. <laughs> Alright, skin uh, game this time. Looks like, again, we've got some prestige skins coming out um, for the side of performance anxiety. So we are going to end the game, and I'm going to get everything set up. And here we go. We've got a vibe. So we've got uh, J4 going up to, to guard the top side here. A little bit of five pointing happening again. No one wanted to go too aggressive. Murder face. Oh! Oh! Wait! They swapped! Didn't they? They no, said no swaps. Wait, Mur I thought Mur no Murderface was bot. Right, they were just playing Sarah. Yeah, yep, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're confused. My brain melted. But here's what my brain. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> Internal is <laughs> sound of my brain, just full error, <laughs> complete. Oh God, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this is going to be definitely be, it's going to be a game. Um, you've got the double Enchanter in the bot lane again. Um, and we'll see how qualifiers handle it this time. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. obviously, I don't think they had the best of times last game. But this is a, by the way, this is a common occurrence. Um, from Performance Anxiety, they are very willing to play the double Enchanter bot which I think is a nightmare draft-wise. Um, because you can see something, and if it fills both of those gaps, or if you see an early enchanter, you essentially have to say, well, that might not be, you know, the, the actual enchanter. Right. It might, it could be. And you can always flex at mid. I don't know if Ink Treader also plays Seraphine, but it is a pretty strong mid flex. <laughs> you can't jungle Seraphine, though. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's possible, unfortunately. It I, would, you can, can take your top, well. I love this Cho'Gath skin. <laughs> ah, it is ah! what it's... <laughs> Cho'Gath? No, 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 no. Char that's Charles. Charles, Charles <laughs> Gath, if you will. <laughs> that's Charles Gatherton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Cho'Gath. Uh, never, never met him. Charles Gatherton. Gatherton or Gatherton? Uh, the first game was won by Performance Anxiety, so the team on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Gathered? Or Gathered? I 
think Gatherington. Oh, flash forward oh. from Murderface. Oh. Not quite gonna find anyone. Play is good. Aftershock landed, but they're just not gonna have uh, mm. the good hold on the sums from from uh, AMBR and Katone Kodo. As um, Fresh burns a little bit of the summoners. Just just a, just a little bit. Just just a smidge. As in both. But that is a okay. Also, I believe Sivir is going to go uh, dark. Uh, uh, a couple autos so canceled there from Pax. Gonna be okay. That yeah, should be absolutely fine. I just randomly started playing music. Oh, sorry. Did you say you wanted me to randomly start playing music? No, no, no. I clicked a button on my headphone. That unpauses Spotify uh, by accident. Yeah, so, I've yeah. got these headphones where like the side of one of the ear cups is a touchpad. It's very fancy. Yes, and, yes, and mine too. So I can accidentally touch it and it'll start playing things. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, I was I leaned my headphone against my shoulder and it unpauses and I was like, oops. And you're like, ah, yeah. Ah! Um. Ah! Oh. Yeah, because I'm British, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, Secret, secretly British. Though. Secretly, secretly British. Even yeah. though I did it to a stream of about thirty people, that's not the point. Um. That being said, um. So is this game gonna pop off is... in a full blood frenzy at ten minutes again, or is it gonna happen? Most early? likely. Uh, it could happen later. You never know. Um. Once again, these are really uninteractive lanes, though, you know? Sivir and Thresh are generally going to push the wave into Double Enchanter. Um, Lissandra and Swain won't really interact that heavily. And I, Cho'Gath has no interest in fighting Mordekaiser. So, you leave it up to the junglers, and then again, these two junglers sh have shown a level of patience. They don't like fighting that much. We saw that in a... In a matchup of Vi versus Diana that generally is supposed to have both junglers kind of do their camps as fast as possible and rush into a lane. They both kind of just gentlemen to or just a woman um, to not fight. <laughs> it, it is uh, interesting from Charmant or gank Lamage for the first seven minutes. Because Kane wants to mm -hmm. get form. So, they're going to have to make a choice at some point in terms of who to... Oh, there goes the Mordekaiser ultimate. J4 getting oh. taken pretty low, but the turret is just within range, so Pax Lothal is going to be a little bit a little bit skittish to take that one. Does have the flash. I think they could have mm -hmm. just committed and relied on the shield, but, you know, mm -hmm. playing it safe, just going to play for the node advantage, going to try and get some turret planning here, perhaps, although teleport is available for J4. I'd imagine Jazz is going to T. I'm never going to get it. I'd imagine Jazz <laughs> is going to TP directly back to lane, which they did. Um, Fax Phil is obviously showing a certain amount of just like aggression and control on the Mordekaiser, but isn't didn't build a huge lead. Just crashed a wave, which was caught, and is actually going to give Jazz a CS lead. Cho'Gath in the Mordekaiser is one of those matchups. So yes, you get the lead fight, but otherwise. Cho'Gath just has to focus on uh, Cho'Gath. I'm so sorry. Charles Gathard um, just has to focus on not getting bullied into submission because last game what we saw was just Lofil absolutely running over in the top lane. But we still saw Bull had good CS numbers and a decent CS lead. Didn't die all game even though it did end up being mildly bloody towards the end. And we saw Spellbound be pretty proficient on getting into the back line on this Lissandra. So it's really about making sure that Jazz doesn't lose lane all that hard which I think is very possible. And even on Cho'Gath as a pick um, you can get away with having a tough laning phase as long as you get your items and you play better in fights. Does look like this first dragon will be started up by the side of the qualifiers as Cho'Gath forced to flash out there. Good flash. Good flash. Does Cho'Gath have I... any stacks or are they saving Feast for a potential outplay? It looks like they're saving it for a potential 
uh, they have one fee stack. Okay. Okay. I think that's given how long they've been six. I think that's acceptable. Um, yeah. I it, it it's always a hard decision to make on Cho'Gath because you know you want to be stacking it. There we see it right there. I'm gonna pick yep. up that stack. Just get the health. Um, it's a difficult decision. Uh, yeah. As a Cho'Gath jungle and Cho'Gath top lane player, I like um, stacking, basically stacking when my ult comes up, mostly because nine times out of ten, you'll know. Most of the time, the only time you're going to want to ult to like get a kill is when it's like very close to Roll just flash forward the drag is good you're gonna go into the death realm you are oh. now silence knock up will be good to brazil j4 running away but the isolated q will claim first blood in the top lane yep will phil will still find a kill in the end should be able to crash this wave into turret as well the death timer should be just long enough plus the lack of a tp in the top lane obviously that's just getting caught lack um, Lil Phil was sitting in the bush and um, kind of waiting for the recall to get to a certain point where if it was canceled and they got away, it would still be pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. But getting the kill is even better. Ooh, Wolf and Spellbound are on a mission here. They're going to be able to catch up. There goes Glacial Path going forward, but lots of damage is to be found. Stunned up, rooted. The shield is large, but is it large enough? LCS Wolf going very low, but they're going to be able to heal up. And that is a good kill for Spellbound. Is it? Is it LCS or ICS? Uh, I would imagine... Oh, but here comes the Swain! Oh, he's ulting! Oh, this is a terrifying time. He's the Calvary. Against Swain recently. Flash forward, LCS looking to run away. Some Huge. A little bit of damage going to be fine from Shermont Pumaj, but there goes the knockup. Jazz is going to be able to help find yep. one Ink Treader. That's going to be two kills. That should be two. Heal, but that's a feast! Like I said, if your O comes up, you're going to know that you'll use it for kills, and that is a really good example. And that is huge for Spellbound, who is doing quite well in Lissandra, to get two kills. Also, um, Jazz did not get the feast stack for that kill. I oh, don't think. Oh, they didn't? I don't think so. Who got the... Um, Highly tragic. I'm trying to remember who got the Mordekaiser kill. Oh. Like, I can check. Yeah. No, 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 no. Cho'Gath, Cho'Gath did. Cho'Gath did get it. Cho'Gath okay, okay, okay. Oh, murder face. And misinformation. Okay. Okay, Hook's gonna land onto Katone Kodo, but Flay only lands out of AMBR. Here goes the Seraphine Ultimate, but it is cleansed or shielded, I'm not sure which, by Bull DK. Flash forward, they're looking for the damage, but they can't quite find her. And now they're rooted up, flash back flash. into turret. That could be potentially dangerous. The Seraphine Q does a lot of damage, and they have to now disengage. Close one, but no cigar. The hey. fact that Murderface... I don't know if Murderface's flash was down, do, do, do or they what, just didn't use it. Do you know what would have changed that? What? Anti heal True. I think Sever is a great candidate for the anti-heal this game, as you will oh, have the going through. I want to see them pick up an Executioner's Calling ASAP. Apparently it is ICS Wolf. What do you see as? I see jungle? Well, I mean, I do see us no, wolves wolf. in the game. Yes. Yeah, wolf. I was say it. I see us wolf. Yeah. Uh, well, I see us wolves. See us wolf. Kind of, kind of rude to take one of them. Um. But no, hey, no, no. Well, I mean, if the, your enemy, if your enemy, if you're talking about enemy jump, enemy camps, then you take the big wolf. So I see us big wolf, but you that's too much. So it's I see us wolf, and leave you to the other ones, the small. The ones. Oh, even though you're leaving them without a mother, which is quite awful. Actually. Ooh, good dodge there from Spellbound. Rooted, stunned up. First damage coming through, and that is the opposite of what you want, but a lot of healing. Not gonna be enough, and Spellbound goes on a killing spree. Killing spree. Mm -hmm. Triple Lissandra kill. Just... <laughs> Lissandra has a deceptive amount of burst. Um, I am interested in what item will come out next from Chogath? I personally would love a force of nature here Fun. to the bottom of my heart because it looks like Swain's about to go Leandries. 
um, Mordekaiser's aura, you have, and then the base AP, the base MR should be more than enough to handle um, both Renata and Seraphine. And the passive for um, taking the consistent AP damage, the over the damage, like the consistent AP damage from Swain and Mordekaiser would be really useful. So I'd love a fond build. Yeah, ooh, flash but. forward, play, murder phase, gonna land that. Folks is gonna go wide though, we'll take out the curve for their team. Uh now Ink Treader's gonna go critically low, Murder Face just barely surviving off of that shield. Now LCS Wolf looking for the damage, but Charmant Plumage has found some damage of their own, but it I is not that's bad. quite enough, and Spellbound finds their fifth kill. Yeah, I was gonna say, Kane would have been able to just run away, um, if not for Ultimes and Xiao. And it seems like Jazz has no interest in being the top one. She's gonna get, they're gonna get this turn. Yep. Um, Odin's gonna TP back. Smart. Yeah. Yes, it splits the splitting the plate gold, getting the Shogas and gold, because now that obviously the way top lane is, you've gotten you got solo kills, so now you're completely unable to duel your top laner. So even though we saw Jazz with a decent lead beforehand, um, well, um. Even though Cho Gath had to say asleep beforehand, it's obviously crumbled due to the solo kill. But yeah, um, it was said in chat, so I can say it, but there was a interesting move by Thresh. You've got the root. Can't really afford to miss the hook there. Well, I guess you can if you've yeah. got Spellbound. True! Spellbound's Lissandra has been absolutely stellar and is looking to force a game. So that'll definitely be interesting to mm -hmm. see. We'll have to see how this game progresses. Obviously, this is the inverse of what we saw last time, where the other team was on the back foot in the early game. So we'll see what performance anxiety can do to go ahead and get back into this one. Dragon and Gold Lead are the win con right now for the Koala Fires. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, it, right now, we're gonna have to see how team fights go, but I actually love, 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 love the qualifiers team and team fights. They just play back, they play front to back. They don't get fancy with it, and they'll be able to get away with a lot because they have a very big, instead of last game where they had no traditional front line and were trying to mow through the trundle, through the Diana, through the set, they have a very traditional front liner and Choga. And then from the back, I, Oh, that's a Giga Brain Bill. I love the Serpent's Fang Rush oh. from Sivir. <laughs> oh, that that's is. Good. It's it's no that uh, is no anti heal right. rush, but it's uh, pretty good. And I will I'll take it honestly because as opposed to Seraphine Soraka, which is basically rooted entirely in healing, Renata and Seraphine are focused more on shielding. Especially Renata. So I can completely understand going Super Spank before anti heal here. Because I feel like Soraka is one of those champs where it's like, if you're not rushing anti heal, you're not really interested in winning. Whereas Seraphine's healing isn't so much a problem, but it's just the amount of utility that character has is flagrant, to say the least. Um, yeah, from Mordecai's charms also to stun. Shielding, shielding pretty critical to that kit. And, um... Yep. Something that I did want to point out is that we are seeing and... the downside of a slow early game with Charmant Plumage still... Wait, surely they have form. Have they just not... Have they chosen not to transform? Or have they transformed and they I have They might have... I'm not sure. Because they tell. still look like base Kane. Right? Yeah, I was like, they still look like base Kane and the icon hasn't changed. Because isn't the icon change to rock? Yeah, but I thought after like rocked. 15 minutes or something, you just got to choose form regardless. I've never played a game of Kane in my life, so... Maybe they haven't either. No, no flame. Mm. <laughs> no, I got it! Mm. Papa! Papa! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Definitely came off wrong, but no, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. But, but well, I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm interested. I, I'm actually 
Maybe I they're don't... just weighing it's hard the pros to... and cons still. It's entirely possible. Or maybe it's a level thing and I'm just wrong. That's also entirely possible. Like, maybe once you hit level 11, you get form, and it's not a time-gated thing, it's a level-gated thing. I don't think it's that. Okay. But, I'll, it, we can see from W, because W, mm -hmm. we see, can move during W, then we'll know. And, and if, if we W knocks knock up, out? then we'll, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll definitely know. Or if we see the icon change go 110 percent All right, so they did get objective bounty off of that dragon, critically putting a stopper in the plan, but a good herald play counter side means that there are consolation prizes um, for the side of the qualifiers. Yeah, I'm interested in what team takes. I would imagine Mordekaiser wants so any, funnily enough, anyone but Lissandra. Yeah. Because Lissandra will be essentially be able to stall out the entire ult with... Oh! Will be able to stall out the entire ult, with, especially with Stopwatch, and most likely having Zhonya's mm -hmm. on a, their next back. It'll be really hard to justify ulting Lissandra in every fight. So maybe you want to take... I say Cho'Gath is in Xiao. Um... Unless you think, well, unless you can somehow get to Zipper, in which, yeah. I, I don't think Thresh is a terrible target either. They're not going to be True. that tanky, and they do provide quite a bit of utility. So especially if you, if you catch them. It does look like, uh, also, hang on, I'm trying to watch Kane for a W drop. Okay, this is base Kane. Yeah, that's base Kane. Wow. How do we discuss this without? I I mean, could still be looking to decide what to go. I mean, they do have mm. the tier, so perhaps they're thinking, oh well, you know, maybe I want to go for the assassin build with that extra damage. But they're looking at all the tanks and the sort of larger health bars on the side of the qualifiers and thinking, oh, maybe Ross yeah. is still a good idea. And they're not really forced to make the decision yet. Not yet. <gasps> oh, oh, Cho'Gath is going far. There, this so far there have been there are very good build decisions on this side of qualifiers because the pawn is. I already explained why I think pawn is really good here. There's also a Banshee's Veil coming out from Lissandra, which can be super clutch in some situations, specifically because there's so much. Um, if this CC hits, you're dead. Um, between Seraphine ult, Renata ult. Um, Swain E, Mord Ult, Mord E, -E. so being able to Banshee Veil and one of those things would be super awesome. But the Serpent Spang also got a bunch of value because a couple seconds after we finished discussing Serpent Spang, Renata finished her Locket of Iron Solari. Oh, Charmant Lodge might be in trouble here. They don't see this. There goes forward, stun, instant, tax, little fill, gonna go golden. Well, Charmant Pumage goes untargetable, but now they're going to be out, and they're going to go very low, but they will get Dude, healed up oh. here by AMBR. Absolutely massive. Now it looks like the fight might turn as Ink Treader has been absolutely shredding with their no own one's Root onto Sivir. Bull DK forced to flash away. Heal also pulled out. Pax Lil Phil looking for maybe the damage to the back end. Use the ultimate to try and stay alive, but that's just going to be no teams taking any casualties. No one died. That's insane. And there we have Rost. Ah, there he goes. There we go. <laughs> Someone That's did point out in thoughts. chat that it is it is possible that Kane got Shadow Assassin but wanted to go Rost. And so they have to mm -hmm. wait three extra minutes. But I'm pretty yeah, sure there's a I can, I can see that. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't know. I can see actually I can that makes a lot more sense because there are three ranged versus two melee. Mm -hmm. And I believe. Wait, does Thresh count as more... Oh. Oh. I'd imagine. I, Thresh is in a weird. Um, space. It's like Thresh and Lilia to me are like the two weird ones. Yeah, in terms of where. But I think auto... for... Thresh is range. For... Yeah, Thresh is ranged because I feel like any auto, any 
auto that can be casted from a long range should count as ranged. Because, theoretically speaking... <laughs> um, We're gonna have a rumble in you this can, jungle. You can have a ranged auto. You can auto in melee range on every character, but you can't auto from range on every character. Right. That makes sense. Now, stopwatches were broken on that last engage, though, that will not be up. Now, uh -huh. Dragon is started up. But... Will be spotted out. Good hook lands on Charmaku Mod. Charmaku Mod is looking to do the damage. They managed to find knockoff. Ghost Berserk. Beautiful charm from the Seraphine. This is potentially going to be trouble. Pax Lil Phil manages to find Ooh. full DK in the Mordekaiser ult. Keep your eye on that. Charmaku Mod doing huge knockups in the back line. This is the healing composition. And it is healing. The objective bounty is claimed by Charmaku Mod. And now Spellbound has to run for their lives. They may have been the carry. But now Ink Treader is going to claim their bounty. Yeah. That is a nightmare fight because they might give up the Baron for this too. Um, the one thing, the main, the first thing I saw was that Bull DK had a, had the right idea, with just timing it a little off because as soon as they got ulted, the spell should come out. It just wasn't fast. Enough. And if that if that spell should comes out, it's really nice to just have sort of chucking cues throughout the entire fight. That being said. Still, they struggled a lot against just the bulkiness of this comp. And that is kind of my thing with Sivir, is that if you're able to kind of just heal off all the lethality, and then the armor comes through, the life becomes really hard for lethality Sivir because it's not constant damage, it's burst damage. For sure. Um, and if your burst damage isn't doing enough, then it doesn't really matter. So they lost the Baron, but on the bright side, I still think their comp is pretty short, sure, and I still think they can do a lot, and they're, it's not like they're behind. It's a 400 gold gap. So Swain off that back finished the Zanyas and is starting to build a Spirit Visage. Pass. Very scary. Fawn is finished for Cho'Gath, so... Mm -hmm. So there is good value up there, but now the Cane finally having form... Really felt like it had a huge impact that fight. I saw several multi person yeah. knockups, and Charmant Plumage managed to get the dragon in the midst of all the chaos. That can be difficult to do. Mm -hmm. Especially against Joe Gethel, which will always outsmart you. Um, so that is, um, once again, excellent play under pressure. And Qualifiers decided that they're not too interested in playing a game three. Not Qualifiers. Performance Anxiety are, uh, have decided they're not too interested in. And playing a game three, so you know, they are looking a little stronger here. It's a Friday night; they want to go out or stay in, you know, get their get their solo mm -hmm. queue grind on, what have you, you know. Yep, 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 yep. They've got places to go and uh, and gamers to smash. That's what they're looking to do in this game here. Um, their CS numbers are better from last game, especially with Mordekaiser's lead in the top lane. And Swain's lead in the mid lane. Um, Bull DK is still farming like a mad, mad lad. Yeah. And and that's exactly forward. what you want on the Sivir. Still no heal mm -hmm. cut. Oh, here comes the ultimate. Okay. J4 going to be in a little bit of trouble. Taking a lot of damage here from that you know, true damage passive, but now out of the ultimate, able to flash out. Shamaku Maj not able to find the knockup, but they are stuck between all five members. Of pass. Yeah. It is a very, very hard situation to get out of this. Uh, uh, Charles, Charles Gafford Charles found himself in quite. See, when, when we say Charles Gafford, though, now I want to say him called like Charvis Gafford because I think of Travis Gafford, right? No. It's just Charles. You, you must restrain. I must restrain. All right. All right. I'm interested. Um, fights from here on out, I am assuming have to be have to bring much, much, much more focus from. Um, yeah, I mean, your uh, main from place to actually have a need lead now for qualifiers is on Sivir. Uh, Sivir has gold over mm. Seraphine, but the gold has evened up or is now ahead for packs in all their lanes. So, 
other other mm-hmm. than uh, Ambiar, and I don't think she's gonna mind that much being behind. Yeah, um, you, you know, you've got Sir. Moonstaff. You're chilling. You're vibing. It is what it is. Yeah. So you've got you've got one staff and you've got another on the way. Oh, so. there it is. Look, finally, executioner's calling. It only took ten thousand years. Character, and I think stone plate is coming out from Cho'Gath, which is probably my favorite item to build on this character. One because it's funny, and two because it's a lot of value. Cho, Cho, Charles is a time buyer. Charles buys time. And yeah. What yeah. item buys more time than making you massive and giving you a big old shield? Cho Ga- Charles Charles Gafford also likes to get in close, so going the sort of what I like to call volley bear build route of buying all the go fast items helps them fulfill their fantasy. Oh, we have a huge flank here. AMBR only going to find one of the charm there, but Murder Face is only certainly going to be murdered right in their face, but a good flash might keep them alive. Spellbound now going deep onto AMBR as the team turns to protect them. Now going forward, Spellbound taking a lot of damage. Knocked up from Charmok Lumage, pulled back from Ink Treader, and just suffocated down. Interesting. I could have sworn Spellbound was going to Sonya's at some point. It never did. I felt like that fight was... It would have been a definitely been a difficult fight to take, but she still had the four before. Maybe they just weren't interested in fighting into Swain. Oh. Good Q from J4 here. Probably is going to help keep them alive. They are out of the Delph Crown, so now they're in the full breadth of the Rift that they can run away. And they are just faster than this Mordekaiser. Oh, but a good pull. Pax looking for the damage. Isolated Q. Knockup will be good. Critically low, but the team is here to help claim it. And Gonte Kodo is going to pick that one up for herself. Yeah, it did not. Jess is gonna agree for the wave, the wave bear, but it kind of did. I didn't. Uh, I didn't understand that one too much, but I think probably just lapse in judgment. Mm -hmm. Boo! It seems like what ha happened to like the con kind of cohesion two v twos, three v threes are kind of falling apart now. They're ending up taking having to take four v fours or one v ones, which they don't. Want. I don't think a single goal. they have to fight more so with their numbers, and they're not. <laughs> oh, Charmant <laughs> might get a little think... trouble here. Glacial Path going forward. One knockup is found, but then they're going to be stunned up. They're going to go unstoppable. Found inside of spell bound, but will it be enough? They're going to go over. Lots of healing down. A beautiful ult from Ambiar is going to charm up the entire team, and now it's a counterplay as Pax Lil Phil is here. They're going to be doing a number of damage, but a good play from the side of Murder Face is going to keep them alive. Pulling out. Alt target is again the Cho'Gath. They're going to be found in the Delft Realm as Ink Treader is looking to eviscerate their counterparts. Two people killed with one ability. That's going to be some achievement advancements for sure, as kills are coming out all across the board for PAX. And another, it seems like they'll just clean up the fight real easy here. Jazz? Yeah, oh! Jazz gets to live. Got a little overzealous, they're trying to take the blast gun. <laughs> Absolute magic. Yeah, I got a little... Yeah, um, got a little bit overzealous actually to take the blast one to make sure Jazz could quite get away, but in in return, knock themselves too far away to continue to follow up. They are going to get the Baron here, though, I think for the second time. Um, yeah, for the second time. Um, like I was saying, they tried to look for a pick on the Charmant Plumage and could not do it, and that bit them bad. Um, so it hurts. Oh, I just realized that Charles has aftershock. Yes. I did not notice that. I am interested in the thought process. I would love to see grasp or glacial. Mm. Uh, but I've glacial tends glacial to be when you go AP builds, is it not? Um, I like comment on a Good comment slow. or artist. Spellbound looking to keep themselves alive, although their shield will be procked. Charm off plumage, gonna have to dip, dodge, dive, and duck on out of there. Diners, drive and dive. Yeah. Uh, 
but that's the thing. Have you ever watched Both? Divers, Drivers, and Dives? That sounds familiar. Okay. Hey, sorry. Go ahead. It sounded familiar. Um, but that, that's my thing. Um, I like Lethality Super against squishier comps, but this comp is not squishy by any means. We just saw both hits of Q go under Renata and barely break her shield. So... Yeah. Tank items on a good... on four out of the five members here of Performance Anxiety. We've got a Demonic, and two Spirit Visages, yeah. and a Locket. Yeah. Plus all the healing, I would, like, I've just, like, maybe it's just me. I love AD Silver, like, just normal uh, ADC Silver. But I also don't think it would have been bad. An LDR here would be very nice um, into what is a comp that literally, basically, I think every unit has more HP than you do. Yeah. Um, especially Bull DK, who is very small and squishy. Um, so that's kind of my thing. So, well, I, and once again, I still love Blue Serpent's Fang by. I still think it's kind of the build overall is not doing that in any favors. Well, we do have yet another Dragon Dance about to pop off here. Um, what? Give me your time. Just say it once. 34, 25, 34, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. As ICS oh. Wolf is in trouble, but uses the present card to get out, and now Charmant Kumaji is going in on the back line. Ult used, Jazz going to be in trouble. LCS Wolf charmed up by MBR. MBR now going to be found in the back line, though. Spellbound going in, doing a fair amount of damage, but there is healing resist. MBR, the target of the W, is not quite able to revive. That kill is going to go down, but Ink Treader is absolutely shredding the side of the qualifiers, and they're going to be able to claim their fourth Mountain Drake. And if the Sivir wasn't hurting now, hurting before, it is definitely hurting now. Because um, the Mountain Soul is going to make her uh, Sivir's job way more difficult. But, but than Serpent's Fang. Huh? Yes. Huh? But. Uh, uh, although Serpent's Fang does have value here, like a lot of value because of the Mountain Soul. Um, it's not doing much to the shields, to like the HP bars in the first place. For sure. So, you know, I, I really getting through give, the shields is nice. Go ahead. I want to give props to AMBR for these fights because she uh -huh. has been, I mean, I guess not as much as my narrative says because she's only died twice, but she's died the pressure has been on yeah yeah the pressure is absolutely on her in this back line and she just looks for the good ult and then is kind of like i'm gonna try not to die but if i do it's fine completely right? okay yeah yeah she's 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 just doing like what's that. best for the team fights and and i think that's a really good skill to have is just knowing okay like if you're playing engage, which is kind of the role that she's playing, or if you're playing like a tank, knowing that like if I engage this, I might die, but we're gonna win the fight. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but it seems like performance anxiety, fighting, team fighting overall has been so clean. The target focus is good. good, and the fact they play together and they play around their wombos so well, especially in this comp. When we see a Renata ult or a Seraphine ult hit, we almost always see the KW and then the Swain come in. Oh, every single time. It's basically a guarantee. And the way they are just grouping so well around these AoEs is the reason why it's so hard for the qualifiers to get a fight off where the numbers are good for them. Oh, but we are at that point of the game where uh, Choga Charles can start be uh, start being mean to Mordekaiser. Yes. Um, I don't know how it gets here every time, and even though Charles is sixty farm down, there are still these trades where it'll well, just Charles, be like, "Wow, Choga is taking no game." 
Charles okay. purpose scales on health. Oh, Pax Lilfil. Gonna do a fair amount of damage. Gonna choose to take this fight. Takes them into the Death Realm as they do do some amount of percent damage. So Charles yeah. will be a little bit hurt here. Now standing on the Lantern. Not gonna be takeable. Pax gonna get that one with the help of the squad. But now Charmant Dumage. The target of murder face, but a two-man knock-up into a three-person charm from AMVR. Now Spellbound's gonna be in trouble. Gonna use the Glacial Prison to try and keep themselves alive. Zanya's to follow, but it's just gonna be too much. Meanwhile, Pax Lil Phil has gone back to deal with LCS Wolf, who managed to split push their way into an objective bounty. You know, I think this game has gone from Pax having objective bounties to qualifiers having objective bounties, and that's kind of wild. LCS Wolf. Oh, sorry, Jesus. ICS Wolf. Able to, ICS Wolf has been able to hold their ground for a long while. No mana. Yeah. No yeah. mana. But yeah, that fight was another example of just like, oh, a CC hit, and then we're going to see a, like, just a full fight off of that. And it did happen. We saw a W hit into a TV beautiful coming in here charm. from Charles. Maybe doesn't want this as they do get knocked up. Here comes the percent health damage. Chomp not gonna be enough to keep you alive, and Charmant Pumaj kills Charles Gather. Unfortunate for Charles. For A sad day for yeah, Charles once again, and Joyers this... all across the rift. I love the fact that there are three spirit visages, because this happens a lot of when my team plays Soraka, where anyone who wants or likes HP will build spirit message so that they get more HP from their healers. Yep. Hey, Another play. good ultimate from AMBR. She's going to set that one up for her team. Now, oh, ICS Wolf going in. A good Crescent Guard, but it is not going to be enough. They are healing underneath these turrets. It does not matter. And performance anxiety are going to find their way to a clean 2-0 victory here. On Friday, May 20th. I don't know why I chose to include the date. That's my beautiful game for Fox Anxiety. Obviously, they had a tough early game, but they just turned it around with good fight after good fight after good fight. And when that happens, it's so hard for the opposing team to kind of like keep their head in the game because when you have a sharp early game and then the opposing team just Just... Oh, I think I lost resolve for a moment. Takes a win after win after win. Beautiful. Yeah. And I have to say, very well played um, from the side of performance anxiety. Certainly don't think they had too much anxiety on that one as it went quite well for them. Oops, you can see my friends list. That's fine. All right. Well, you know, that's going to do it for us here on uh, today's low-budget LCS broadcast. Um, mm -hmm. Rosel, you got anything you want to say to the fans out there? Um, keep watching uh, LBLCS. Keep uh, supporting the streams. Uh, we're going to come this upcoming week and the week after are going to be uh, very playoff-based. So, um, surely our casters will be informed on the playoff implications of every match. Surely. Oh, oh you're 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 gonna you're gonna hold me to that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh boy. All right. Well, uh, seems like I've got some studying to do. I've been for Boba. <laughs> and, <I'm... laughs> and we hope you have a great Friday.